Welcome to this video which takes a look at finding out what is causing the internet to be slow using LangGuardian and SolarWinds Orion. My name is Darren Delaney, I'm Head of Technical Services here at Netford. I've just logged on to my SolarWinds Orion NPM system and I see here I got an alert that uh, internet bandwidth is high or bandwidth usage is high. So to help with the diagnostics of this I've created a new view here called uh, Internet and Web. So what I can see in this chart here, so this is a SolarWinds chart, which is using SNMP to pull my internet gateway. So it's looking at traffic in and out. And I can see here that uh, traffic on that link hit seven megabits per second, which is maxing out my connection. I've got eight, eight megabits inbound, dropped off, and it's starting to increase again. So the other elements on this page are all coming, the data is coming from LangGuardian, which is doing deep pack inspection and all traffic in and out my internet pipe. So what can we see? Well, because LangGuardian integrates at Active Directory as well, I can see what the top users are um, on this link. So we've got one in, guy in particular here, Bill Patton, who has since well, received 2.75 gigabytes of data in the last couple of hours. So for, the, for within these elements, we can actually click on the traffic totals and drill down and see what's happening. So it's UDP protocol that's been used here. Let's see what it's connecting to. It's connected to external IP addresses. Makes me suspicious. It's probably not web browsing, it's probably some application that's running. Now we can actually do further analysis on this. We could either get the username or IP address. So I'm just going to grab the IP address here. I'm going to go to user network search. So I want to get a full picture of what's happening here. I'm going to go to forensics, pop in the IP address, and see what's happening. So I want to focus on four hours as well to match up with my analysis on the previous page. So this is going to give us a lot more detail than just traffic. We're going to see, I can see the UDP traffic here as well, but we'll see more information the fact that this is BitTorrent. This BitTorrent event's been triggered. So let's scroll down here and we can see here that build system is going to torrent on CentOS. Sounds, doesn't sound too bad. Let's take a look at one of these torrents he's downloading and it's CentOS Live. So that's, that's okay. So Bill um, has been downloading a copy of CentOS DVD and that's caused my internet pipe to max out there. But I also have my own system listed here and let's do some analysis on this. So we can see here um, my system has downloaded and uploaded 191 megabytes of data. It's web traffic, you can see that here, most of it is web traffic. That's going to Akamai.net. Now that could be anything. Um, Akamai is content delivery network, so it could be used for many, many different things. Very hard to sometimes with network monitoring tools to figure out what people are doing on these content delivery networks. But it's not a problem when you use LangGuardian because when you drill down either on the username or on the IP address, you can get information. Let's just drill down here and see the actual detail. So in fact, what this is, is somebody going to download some windows.com. They're basically getting a bunch of updates. And you can see here uh, in the URI, the link to those particular updates from Windows Update. So we, could, we know the user, we know the service that they're using, but we also can understand the type of download that's happening. In this case, it's Windows Update. And we could just refresh those elements again. So we now can understand where our bandwidth is going, try and figure out if it's good use of bandwidth or if it's bad use of bandwidth. 